it's pretty late at night it's like 8 30 it's already getting dark out here so i don't know how good this footage will end up being but this guy just posted in one of the groups that i'm in and he's got this box full of nintendo games i spy a ducktales 2 right on top there i hit him up right away and he actually knows that's a rare game i asked him how much he wants for everything he said he'll let me have ducktales 2 for 80 bucks it's like a 140 dollar game so I'm coming out here to pick that up. I'm gonna dig through the rest of his box and see if there's anything else I want or need. And yeah, let's do this. You got the Nintendo games? Yeah, there you go. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I, I respect that. I used to smoke, man. I quit. Jo dry, bro. Jordan. Yo, nice to meet you, Frank. Nice to meet you, man. Ooh, man. So this is it, huh? That's the Retron. Yeah, that's the Retron. Right there. It's the DuckTales. You mind yeah, if I check the DuckTales out? I don't want to drop nothing. No, it's cool. We can go in if you want to, bro. I think we'll be good out here. Nice, they got the manuals too, huh? Yep. Tetris Mario. Don't tell me she didn't put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. Nah, it's right here. This little case is this little uh, Mexican store by the... Uh, oh, manual too, huh? Yeah, nice. Man, I know that's worth a little bit more, man. Oh, my, oh, man. Shit. I actually already have the game, and that'll be a double for me. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you been doing this? Uh, about five years now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always kind of collected, but avidly looking for stuff yeah, yeah, like a yeah, couple right, years. Right, yeah. yeah. I had, uh, yeah, I had, a, I had a nice little collection going, and my living room set up. I had a little nine cube organizer in there with a bunch of different consoles, and then the wife just kind of she went weird on me. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I, yeah. I so I think all this yeah. stuff here I would pass on. Okay. But those are original controllers in there too. If you want, if you want them, you know what I mean. If you want them, that's. The, the, you know, I use a Retron myself, so okay. I really don't. Okay. No, that's cool. I just, you know, I, I didn't know if you were after the original type shit or. Right, right. You know. I know you said 275 for the whole bin. Um, what would you want for just this stack here? Just that, that stack yeah. there. We got Maniac Mansion, Mario 3, Ducktales. Punch out a couple box games. I didn't look up those two in the bottle. I did look up fast break, but I didn't look up those two. 150, you take it all, man, because I love punch out for the 140. One, 120. Do me 120. I'll do you 120, you owe me one. <laughs> all right, but you got to promise me that you'll hit me up before anybody else. For sure. All right, for brother. Sure. Bet. bet, bro. Bet that. Do it, do it. Let bet you that. double count that. What do we got here? Should be 120. Right on. All right, well, pre appreciate it. It's the next morning. I just really quick want to go over what I picked up last night. So we got a bunch of good stuff here. The cream of the crop being DuckTales 2 with the manual. I was honestly really surprised to see that he had the manual. I knew he had the game, but I did not expect the manual to be in there. So I'm definitely keeping the manual. This is my first time having DuckTales 2 as a double. Let's see. So yeah, it's pretty nice when you find good stuff. When I flip one of the DuckTales too, it should put the rest of the stuff in my collection for free and I should make a couple bucks. These are also doubles for me. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Mario Brothers 3, Maniac Mansion. I thought I didn't have this, but I double checked and I guess I do have it. So that is a double for me. Anytime I come across boxes, I always keep boxes. I love boxes. Got like a couple shelves of boxes up here. I'm on my way to go pick up an N64 lot. Nothing too special, it's $45, which is kind of a lot of money. But there's a couple good games in there. There's a 007, South Park, Tony Hawk, 
Mario 64. So 45 bucks, we're gonna go pick it up. Sorry I took so long, man. You don't mind if I check it out? Yeah, go for it, man. Kids grew out of it. Not too long ago, I got rid of another one of these. Really? At, uh, um, what is it? Level Up Games? Yeah. Dude, but I had the setup that I had, I had like four controllers and shit. They gave me like 150 bucks. No way. Yeah, dude, for the whole thing. So You had a bunch I of mean, games and everything too? The whole thing? I had like three copies of that. Really? Dude, I'm always running into that stuff. Dude, and if you find I'll any more. Your, I'll keep your messages. Yeah, I can. Uh, and all that, and then, you know, I could always uh, hook you up sometimes. Uh, Cause see the thing is that I run into a bunch of remodel jobs and uh, a lot of people say just leave their shit behind so it's my responsibility to throw everything in the garbage so then I look through everything and I go well I'm not gonna throw this shit away you know keep it I found an RC controlled remote, remote car the other day but good to know someone that's yeah. in the video game keep in touch man I look forward to doing more business with yeah, you no problem Thanks. thank you not a bad deal no expansion pack, unfortunately, but some games for the collection here. I didn't have Superman. Let's see how that stick feels. It's got a little play, but it's not as bad as some of them I've gotten. I'm about to buy a Game Boy Advanced SP off of a guy. I actually bought some stuff from him before in the past, but he hit me up again and said he found his old Game Boy SP. So I offered him 20 bucks for the SP in the Turtles game, and he said that was fine. So we're coming out here to pick it up. Hey man, how you doing? Doing well, how you doing, man? Pretty well. So you said you couldn't find the charger? Yeah, no, I couldn't find the charger for it, so the game's in there. I unscrewed this, I thought I maybe took batteries. I was like, wait a minute, it's like a it's battery It's like a pack. special yeah, yeah. pack in there. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't know, maybe someone has a charger or anything. I mean, it looks like it's in great shape. I don't see why it wouldn't work. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Yeah, man, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Take care. Stay safe out here. 20 bucks. Turtles. Back at the house. I just want to test this N64 and go over everything that I picked up. Yeah, let's check it out. Hey. Oh, somebody had all 120 stars. No joke. I actually just recently went through and did all 120 stars at a buddy of mine's house on his cartridge, so that's respectable. That's really respectable. We got some pretty common stuff that I've already got. Tony Hawk, 007, Supercross, Star Wars, I can't tell you guys how many times I find this game. It's in like every other lot that I pick up. Wave Race, these are the four that I'm keeping for my collection because I don't have them. We've got Armorines, Tetrisphere, Madden 2001, and Superman. I'll be looking for a label upgrade. This one's kind of faded and it's a little beat up, but still collection worthy. Keep it until you come across one that's in better condition. I also picked up this 001 SP. It's like the Nest style. I plugged it in and charged it up for a little bit. So that was pretty cool. That was $20 and it came with turtles. So, yep. Memory card. The N64 lot was $45, but I know I can make that back and put those in the collection, so I'm happy. And on to the next. How's it going? Doing well, how's it going, man? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There's all the stuff. Like I said, I don't know what works, what doesn't. I haven't used it. In I take them apart and refurbish them and clean oh, them yeah. and oh yeah a lot of times you'll get them and they'll have like a flashing red light and they won't play the game so yeah, yeah I'm used dirty to connectors the, the blinking and, light on Nintendo is for you know I grew up with that so yeah got to clean the pins on them and 
Yeah. Make sure they're wow. all clean. We just blew in it back in our day. <laughs> you know what's funny is on some of the back of the games, it actually says do not blow uh, in them. That's, I know. That's hilarious. <laughs> 50 Perfect. bucks. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Yeah, have a good one. Enjoy. It was 50 bucks. All the Sega games are pretty common. I mean, we got Disney, Aladdin, The Addams Family, Echo, The Tides of Time, NCAA, Berenstein Bears, College Football, Genesis Six Pack, Barbie, NHL. We got a Sega Genesis and a Nintendo. He said he doesn't know if it works. I usually take them apart and clean the pin connectors and wash the shells and everything so I'm not worried if it works or not here's the games prisoner of war fast break football the black bass ring king blades of steel double dribble ooh Mike Tyson's punch out Nice. That's always a good one to find. These sell for 20 plus on eBay all day. I think I just sold one of those last week for $23.99. Got baseball. Excite bike, Tetris. Top Gun. Tech Mobile. So yeah, not a bad little $50 haul. All of this stuff here is what I'm keeping for the collection. Adam's Family probably being the most valuable game here. But just some common stuff that I didn't have. Whenever I find stuff I don't have, I keep it. Sell the rest to try to offset the cost of collecting. But we got Ring King, the Black Bass, football with the manual, baseball with the manual, double dribble with the manual, and a bunch of these black sleeves. Anytime I find these sleeves, I hold on to them. We got a Sega Genesis here with a couple games, three controllers, and the cables. We got an original Nintendo with two controllers, the cables, and then I don't even know what this is called a quick shot. Never seen one of those before. That's pretty neat. And then some doubles. Blades of Steel, Tetris, Excite Bike, Top Gun, Prisoner of War, Fast Break, Tech Mobile, Mike Tyson. Probably the best, the best game out of the whole lot. I know that's like a 20 to a $25 game, so anytime I find this, I'm pretty happy. Not a bad haul for 50 bucks.